In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share your Outlook calendar with another user. Now, the benefit of this is not only will you be able to give them access to view your calendar, but you can also allow them to edit and make changes to your calendar should you need to. So this maybe works well for, I don't know, husband and wife who are looking to have a shared calendar within Outlook on the web. So first of all, I'm going to go into my calendar on the left hand side. We can also obviously launch it from the app launcher up here and choosing calendar. But with the calendar open, you'll see you have a long list of all of your calendars in here. Now in my account, I only have one calendar just now, but if you want to, you can open up and see all of your other calendars and they can be added using the add calendar option. What I want to do here though, is I want to go where it says calendar and I'm going to press on the three dots, which is the more options. You'll see from there you have a sharing and permissions. Now this way is exactly the same as having your calendar open and clicking on share calendar up here. So they both do the same thing. Once you get into the sharing and permissions screen, you need to type in the name or email address of your contact. So if they're already a contact, you can search by name. If you maybe don't have them, then you'll need to put the email address into here. So I've gone and got this disposable email account. I'm going to copy the address and I'm going to paste it into here just now. So here is the person who's going to be sent my calendar and this is what they're going to be able to do. So if I choose to share it with all details, they'll be able to view all of the details within my calendar. You'll notice though, there is also the option to can edit. So I'm gonna leave this as can view all details and click share. What will now happen is this calendar will be shared with that particular address. If I go back into this email account, then they will receive an email in just a second that will basically say you're invited to view this calendar. So we can open this one up and then you'll see here we get a link to basically view that calendar. If I come back into my email account though, let's say for example, I've decided I want to give this particular user additional privileges. I can then change it from within here to can edit. At this stage, I don't need to do anything else because what's going to happen is that particular user is going to receive another email, which is then going to say that the permissions have changed. So again, it'll take a little second to come through, but then basically an email will arrive that will say a permission has changed. So again, we can open this one up and we can see some more information about the account. So it now says that we're able to view and edit or delete events within the calendar. And that's really important because if you're allowing someone to edit your calendar, just remember they can create edit and delete events within your calendar. Let's go back up to here because perhaps we don't actually want to share this calendar with this user anymore. All we need to do is click on the trash can and that will remove the share of that calendar with that particular user. But you'll notice in using all of those different options there, we were never asked to confirm. So whether you're changing the calendar permissions or deleting them, you won't be asked to confirm before you click on those buttons. So the changes are just made there and then. Now, once you have removed somebody's access from their calendar, they won't actually be notified via email. So previously when we added them to the calendar and then when we changed their permissions, that user was told about the changes. However, if we go back into that temporary account, you'll see there is no email here informing this user that they no longer have access. All that will happen is when they try to view the calendar, it will basically just tell them they don't have access. So if you're looking to share your calendar with another user, all we need to do is select the calendar, go up to share or right click and choose sharing permissions and then choose the correct sharing permissions based on what you actually want to share with that user. But just, but just remember, if you need to, you can always delete that share.